before we begin today's reaction, I'd like to begin on a serious note. Since I will be using a couple of screenshots for the channel, my review Aaron Fisher, as well as crediting him for it, I'd like to, in return, help him draw attention to a very serious issue he went through just recently. So he was playing with the family dog, a black lab named Lucy, the other day, when she had a spinal injury during their daily game of throwing tennis balls. So when Aaron took him to the emergency room, he found out that there were one of two possible outcomes for the dog. One is that it would take months for her to make a good recovery. The other is that they would need around $10,000 in order to be able to pay for surgery that she might have to go through. As such, Aaron Fisher set up a GoFundMe online as well as a video pointing to other links as to how you can help him. So please consider to take your time and consider donating to help pay for the surgery for his black lab. He also set up an online protection video where you can get a 14-day free trial of the VPN an aura where you don't have to pay anything and yet Aaron Fisher will also be compensated financially for that. He also set up a PayPal where you can pay him directly if you're not comfortable with paying through the GoFundMe. So those are all the ways in which you can help my review Aaron Fisher out for the potential surgery for his black lab. I figured it was the least I could do in return for what he's done and helping restore the Snyderverse. With that out of the way, let's get down to the reaction. Welcome back everybody, we're back here with another trailer reaction. This time, we're gonna be looking at the new trailer that came out for the director's cut of Rebel Boom. First of all, if you're worried that you're not gonna like this reaction because of the other two that you can really hear my voice too well on, don't worry. I lowered the desktop audio receiving for my recording software OBS. I lowered it way down this time. Lowered it down by five decibels. I tested it myself. You should be able to hear me well. Also, I noticed that in only three hours it got 83,000 views, but once again, first of all, it's because Netflix, like Warner Brothers, of course, had to interfere with the direct vision for this project which I don't like to any degree but at least we're getting the director's cut very soon also I'm not worried about it being bad because I really liked the first part didn't like the second part as much but I still thought it was pretty decent and I'm not letting Rotten Tomato scores hinder my anticipation for seeing the director's cut because you can't really trust them if you look at the so-called professional reviewers versus the audience scores you'll find that there's a pretty big change in the numbers not only that but I went and looked through and sure enough from the first few pages alone a lot of the one star to two star reviews for the lesser reviewed Zack Snyder films aren't real accounts the reviews don't go anywhere there was even one review in which it was there to specifically trash the Snyder Snyder fandom, call it a Snyder cult. <laughs> yeah, right. And another reason I don't trust Rotten Tomatoes is because even the professional critics themselves, they're probably the worst of it. There's even one particular critic who honestly should have had her professional reviewer status revoked after she made that tweet. But I digress, and it's good to see that Netflix still hired this guy to make this vision despite movie studios nowadays over relying on Rotten Tomatoes to pick their scores. In all honesty, though, it should be an aggregation of the specific scores not whether a movie is rated positive or negative because there can still be negative stores like 2.5 out of 5 stars that are still closer to the positive mark and there could be positive scores that are closer to the negative mark like 3 star reviews so I think they really need to aggregate it based on that but they also need to show audience scores even though you can't really trust those either specifically in Snyder's case but I'm not letting Rotten Tomato scores get in the way of watch hours or box office successes so I'm I'm gonna give this trailer a fair review. I am anticipated, but also a little nervous that it's gonna disappoint. With that out of the way, let's check it out. Yep, as you can see, it's it's actually colored in red this time, and you can see that there's a bigger number of dislikes, and it's actually gotten to 100,000 views now, but I can't wait to see the director's cut, because one other thing I forgot to mention was when I did the first trailer reaction, and then I watched the movies, I noticed that there was a whole bucket load of shots in which never made it into the film. Even one particular shot with the character Jimmy, which I thought was beautiful and absolutely should not have been cut from the final film. I was scratching my head as to why Netflix would do that. <laughs> but I digress again. Enough talk, let's uh, get down to reacting to this trailer. 
Go dig my New shot. Well, that's beautiful. Must be from part Both one. And deep. Also from part one. Yeah, I can Face see the nipples. Why they cut it out? Oh, we're gonna get to see more of their story. We're gonna get to see more world building. More world building. Building. Hopefully that'll clear up the bit of confusion I had with the death of the, the young girl, the princess. Oh, great shots. Oh, speed up there. Hopefully they will see more of that instead of the slow motion that I thought was overused in part two. Oh, oh. At least I die on the side of honor. Oh, Is there still get such a thing? August 2. So it's actually coming real soon. Oh. Whoa. Their wrath will be. My vengeance. So the final act of the second part is going to be entirely different. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the red moon there. Chalice of Blood, Curse of Forgiveness. Way more chilling titles than what we got initially. Yep. I'm pretty confident at this point that it's going to be real good. I really hope it does cool off on the slow motion, because one other issue I have with part two in comparison to part one, and even part one had a little bit of it, is the use of slow motion, which I thought was pretty over the top. I thought it was used well in Zack Snyder's Justice League, but from here to there with Rebel Moon, I thought, yeah, it could have been done a little less, and... It definitely would have moved the story along better, so hopefully, and I really did like that one shot in the trailer where it suddenly sped up. If we're going to get more slow motion sequences, hopefully we'll get more of those slick punches instead of what we got. And one other thing is that, look at this. I can't believe that there was an entirely different third act for the second part. Like, this goes back to Wonder Woman where they had to rewrite the entire third act of that film thanks to you know who who kicked Snyder out against his own will and messed around with his art while he was mourning the loss of his daughter that scumbag this is like that I can't wait to see how it's gonna change the story and I also noticed that there's gonna be a lot more uh you know nudity hopefully they don't they also don't go too overboard with it there's also, you know, the nipples. One thing I will say, though, despite all the concerns I have for the trailer, as well as all the anticipation I have built up for it, it's definitely got me a hell of a lot more interested than any of the garbage Star Wars is pushing out today. Someone even put it perfectly on Review Fisher's channel. They're more interested, way more interested, in Star Wars now than they are in Rebel Boon. Yeah, you could say the same for me. So... With that, there's my reaction to the trailer. I hope you enjoy it. If you don't have anything nice or even constructive to say, you can just get out of this video right now. Don't come back to my channel. Stop watching me. Take your toxicity out somewhere. Yep. So with that in mind, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you when I have my review for both these films out this August 2nd, 2024. So long for now.